So, I did something crazy. I ditched my phone for a whole week, I know, right? In this day and age, it's practically unheard of. Scrolling, liking, commenting, it was an endless cycle. I needed a break, a digital detox. So I took a deep breath and hit the power button. I traded pixels for people, notifications for conversations, reading, walking, talking to family, the possibilities seemed endless. I was excited to see what this week would bring. The first day was rough, no lie. It felt like I was missing a limb. Every notification chime that wasn't there made me twitch. I constantly checked my empty pockets, a nervous habit I hadn't realized was so ingrained. It was clear I was more attached to my phone than I'd cared to admit. The biggest hurdle was communication. I rely on my phone for everything. Texting, calling, emailing. Suddenly I was cut off from the world. I couldn't quickly check in with friends, make appointments, or even look up directions. It was like being transported back to the dark ages. Simple tasks became surprisingly difficult. Need to know the weather? Look outside, I guess. Want to know what time it is? Find a clock? Need to get somewhere new? Consult a map? It was like rediscovering the analog world. I realized how much I took for granted. The instant access to information, the constant connection to others, the convenience of having everything at my fingertips. It was a wake-up call. I was so used to the instant gratification of my phone that I'd forgotten how to function without it. My mornings were transformed. No more scrolling through social media in bed. Instead, I woke up and actually talked to my family. We had breakfast together, discussed our plans for the day, and just enjoyed each other's company. It was a refreshing change. My commute to work was different too. Usually I'd spend the time catching up on emails or listening to podcasts. But now, I was forced to just sit and observe. I noticed the changing leaves on the trees, the bustling streets, the people around me. It was like seeing the world with fresh eyes. Work itself was more focused. Without the constant distractions of notifications and emails, I was able to concentrate on my tasks. I found myself getting more done in less time and the quality of my work improved. It was a pleasant surprise. Evenings were dedicated to analog activities, I read books, played board games with my family, and went for walks in the park. I rediscovered the simple pleasures of life, the things I'd neglected in favor of screen time. It was a welcome change of pace. One of the biggest changes was how I interacted with my surroundings. Instead of being glued to my phone, I started to pay attention to the world around me. I noticed the architecture of buildings, the vibrant colors of street art, the subtle changes in the seasons. It was like I was seeing everything for the first time. I also started to engage with people more. I struck up conversations with strangers in line at the coffee shop, chatted with my neighbors, and reconnected with old friends. I realized how much I'd been missing out on by being constantly plugged in. I started to appreciate the small moments, the warmth of the sun on my face, the sound of rain on the window, the taste of a freshly brewed cup of coffee. These simple pleasures had become lost in the digital noise but now they were front and center. I found myself being more present in the moment. Instead of constantly thinking about the past or worrying about the future, I was able to focus on the here and now. It was a liberating feeling I was finally living in the present rather than just existing in the digital world. Section 5. Unexpected Joys and Realizations I realized how much time I'd been wasting on my phone. Hours that could have been spent doing something productive, something meaningful. I was shocked by how much free time I suddenly had. It was like gaining an extra day in the week. I discovered new hobbies, I started painting, something I'd always wanted to try but never had the time for. I also took up photography, capturing the beauty of the world around me without the filter of social media. It was a creative outlet I hadn't realized I needed. I reconnected with old friends. I called people I hadn't spoken to in years just to catch up and see how they were doing. It was wonderful to reconnect with people I'd lost touch with. These conversations were deeper and more meaningful than the quick texts and social media interactions I was used to. I learned to appreciate silence. Without the constant buzz of notifications and the endless stream of information, I was able to find peace and quiet. I realized how much I'd missed the simple sound of silence. It was a much-needed respite from the noise of the digital world. Section 6. Reconnecting with myself and others. Without my phone as a crutch, I was forced to engage with the people around me. Dinner conversations became more engaging, family time felt more meaningful, and even casual interactions with strangers felt more authentic. I was truly present in each moment. This phone-free experience allowed me to reconnect with myself. I had more time for introspection, for thinking about my goals and aspirations, for simply being. I started journaling, meditating, and practicing mindfulness. It was a journey of self-discovery. 
I started to pay more attention to my emotions. Without the distraction of my phone I was able to process my feelings more effectively. I learned to identify my triggers and develop healthy coping mechanisms. It was a valuable lesson in emotional intelligence. My relationships with my family and friends deepened. We spent quality time together, engaging in meaningful conversations and shared activities. We went for hikes, played board games and simply enjoyed each other's company. It was a reminder of the importance of human connection. Section 7. Embracing Boredom and Sparking Creativity Initially the boredom was uncomfortable, I wasn't used to having so much unstructured time. I fidgeted, paced and generally felt restless. But then something amazing happened. My mind started to wander. Out of the boredom, creativity blossomed. I started writing, sketching and brainstorming new ideas. I found myself thinking outside the box, coming up with solutions to problems I hadn't even realized I had. It was like unlocking a hidden part of my brain. I rediscovered the joy of reading. Without the distraction of my phone I was able to immerse myself in books, losing myself in different worlds and perspectives. I read novels, biographies and even poetry. It was a feast for the mind. I started to appreciate the simple act of doing nothing, just sitting quietly, observing my surroundings, and letting my thoughts wander. It was a form of meditation, a way to clear my mind and recharge my batteries. It was a much-needed break from the constant stimulation of the digital world. Section 8. The Challenge of Staying Informed Staying informed without a phone was definitely a challenge. I relied on newspapers, radio broadcasts, and conversations with others to get my news. It was a slower pace of information gathering but it also felt more deliberate. I realized how much news I consumed passively through my phone. Constant notifications, headlines flashing across my screen, social media updates, it was an overwhelming influx of information. Being disconnected allowed me to be more selective about what I consumed. I started to seek out more in-depth news analysis. Instead of skimming headlines I read articles in their entirety, considering different perspectives and forming my own opinions. It was a more thoughtful approach to staying informed. I also became more aware of the spread of misinformation. Without the constant fact-checking and verification that comes with having a phone, I had to be more discerning about the information I received. It was a lesson in critical thinking. Section 9, A Week Later, Reflections and Lessons Learned After a week of phone-free living I felt like a new person. I was more present, more focused, and more connected to the world around me. I rediscovered the simple joys of life and learned to appreciate the quiet moments. It was a transformative experience. I realized how much my phone had been controlling my life. It was a constant source of distraction, pulling me away from the present moment and preventing me from fully engaging with my surroundings. I was determined to change my relationship with technology. I developed healthier habits. I set boundaries for my phone usage, limiting my screen time and scheduling specific times for checking emails and social media. I also made a conscious effort to be more present in my interactions with others. I learned the importance of disconnecting. Taking time away from technology allowed me to recharge, reconnect with myself and appreciate the world around me. It was a valuable lesson in self-care. Section 10. A call to action. Try it yourself. I challenge you to try a phone-free week. It might seem daunting at first but I promise you it's worth it. You'll be surprised by how much you gain by disconnecting. You'll rediscover the simple joys of life, reconnect with yourself and others, and gain a new perspective on your relationship with technology. Think about it. What could you do with all that extra time? Read a book, learn a new skill, spend quality time with loved ones or simply enjoy the peace and quiet. The possibilities are endless. Start small, try disconnecting for a few hours each day or for a whole weekend. Gradually increase the duration until you feel comfortable going phone free for a week. You don't have to go cold turkey, ease into it and find what works best for you. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating technology from your life, it's about finding a healthy balance, a way to use technology to enhance your life not control it. Take control of your digital life and don't let it control you. Section 11. Stay connected, ironically. While I encourage you to disconnect from your phone, I also want to stay connected with you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on living a more intentional life, finding balance in the digital age, and embracing the power of disconnecting. I'll be sharing more tips and tricks for managing your technology usage, as well as personal stories and reflections on my own journey. I'd love for you to join me on this journey. Let's create a community of people who are committed to living more fulfilling lives both online and offline. Click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content.
I'm excited to connect with you, and in the meantime I challenge you to put down your phone and go experience the real world. You might be surprised by what you discover.